Hello guys, well, what is up? My name is Dan the Delight and today I'm going to be bringing you a Timo Werner player review. This is the Team of the Week version of Timo Werner. Um, he comes in packs as a left mid, left winger you can transfer him to, which I personally did, because um, I don't really play with left mids and left wingers I feel like getting the game a bit more and his stats definitely um, do scream left wing rather than left mid for me. If you've watched any of my videos before you know that we're going to get into the actual base stats then the in-game stats, then some gameplay, and back to the in-game stats where I review them and compare them to the actual gameplay. Um, so, Team Werner, 84 overall rated German Leipzig player, um, 5 foot 11, high medium on the work rates there, right footed, 3 star skill moves, 4 star weak foot, very very good for me, that's other than 5 star weak foot, what more could I ask for? Bought him for 75k, so that is the price I'm going to be reviewing him based off of. Um, he has got 92 pace, 82 shooting, 72 2 passing, 84 dribbling, 72 physical and 37 defending. Some really nice stats there to be honest, particularly that pace at 92 pace. The shooting at 82 is really good too and the dribbling at 84 they are some really nice stats for this guy and the passing is not too bad either and the physical is pretty good. I, I'm surprised that he's only 75k. I feel like maybe if he was a striker he might be worth a lot more. Um, but yeah, we'll get into the actual in-game stats in just a moment. If you do like the video though, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. And there will be a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. Um, yeah, we're getting through some of these quite quickly now. Um, so Timo Werner, let's get into the in-game stats, then some gameplay, and then back to the in-game stats to compare. Alright, so 92 pace, which is quite ridiculous. Made up of 95 acceleration and 90 sprint speed, plus 4 on there if he gets full chem. Crazy. Basically, you might as well have 95 pace on this guy. Unreal. So I'm expecting him to be absolutely rapid. I think that will be the fastest player that I've played with. Pretty sure they are the, the stats-wise anyway, fastest stats that I've used on FIFA 23 so far. So that's just unbelievable. And the 82 shooting made up at 89 attack positioning, plus 4 there for full camp. Crazy. Um, 80 finishing, 87 shot power, 79 long shots, 84 volleys and 80 penalties. Really, really good stats there as well. Pretty much what you want from a striker. The only thing that I would say is the finishing perhaps could be a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, everything else there. The attack position, I love that. That means that he's going to be getting into really, really good positions to score goals. I think that's fantastic. Shot power is really good as well. I'm expecting maybe some long shots with him. Um, even though the long shots aren't as good, uh, but the shot power is. So I feel like they, them two will even each other out. It's just the accuracy that might be a bit off there. Passing at 72. Um, so 71 vision, 72 crossing, 61 free kick accuracy, 81 short pass, 57 long pass, 73 curve. Really the short pass for this sort of player is the only thing that I'm particularly interested in. I won't be doing crosses, I don't tend to do crosses with, um, well, when playing FIFA 23 in general, I don't feel that like that's a good path to a goal. Um, and really it's the, the long pass and the free kick accuracy that are bringing that passing stat down, and for me, they're the least important ones for, for this type of player, so I'm pretty happy with that to be honest. The passing stats are all in the right place. And then the 84 dribbling made up of 81 agility, 78 balance, 70 oh sorry, 87 reactions. I'm reading that backwards, 85 ball control, 84 dribbling, and 81 composure. Again, there's some really, really nice stats. Not going to feel sluggish because of them top two stats, and they're the most important for me. Everything's 81 and above apart from the balance, which tends to be the lowest stat anyway. Crazy stats there. Defending at 37, not really going to go into that other than the, the head and accuracy being 80, which is really nice, um, but I don't think that I'll really be trying any headers with him, to be honest. And then 72 for the physical. Made up of 78 jumping, 85 stamina, um, 67 strength and 66 aggression. Unfortunately, the strength is one of the, uh, the lower parts there and that for me is the most important um, stat when it comes to physical and that really feeds into dribbling for me. Um, so unfortunately, that is a little bit lower than what I would have wanted it to be. But still, I mean, this card, 92 pace, them shooting stats, the passing stats even are very good. And those dribbling stats, this card is looking like it's going to be phenomenal. Um, so let's get into some gameplay in just a moment and then get back to these stats and compare them to how they felt in game. Alright, so Timo Werner. I started off by playing this guy as a left midfielder, um, or left winger even. Uh, started him off as a left winger. Terrible. He was absolutely shocking. Um, didn't get into the game at all. Didn't didn't have any impact at all. 
and I switched him to a striker and he was unreal probably one of the best strikers that I've used on FIFA 23 so far you have to switch him in game to keep his full chem which is what I was doing so I start the game with him as a left winger then switch him with my striker oh my god he was in the right position every time that you wanted to score his pace was absolutely electric his finishing was fantastic he rarely rarely missed a shot look at this just took it on his sort of on the run and then look at the pace it's just going to be able to beat all of these players and then slot it into the back of the net that's exactly what you want from a striker don't play him as a left wing don't play him as a left mid this guy will be wasted play him as a striker look at that touch boom well i mean unreal he is definitely even though he's not even a striker by by position his base stat is a striker and it's a bit annoying that his actual in form isn't just listed as a striker because that would make him even better it would make him more expensive though in my opinion but my god he is a, as a striker one of the best that i've used on fifa 23 and if you've seen my player reviews you know that i've used some of the best so far but he is ranking right up there for 75k that seems absolutely ridiculous for me um, look at this, I mean just t takes it away from a defender and then just puts it in the back of the net it's a, that's exactly what you want from a striker um, and, and sometimes you don't get that when you pay a bit bigger for strikers but for this guy absolutely, his physical didn't seem to be uh, too much of a problem either players couldn't get near him if I'm honest let's get back to the end game stats so 92 pace I mean that's an incredibly high stat and normally for a stat that high is never going to live up to the expectations but for Timo Werner's in form it 100% did. I cannot decrease that. I can't increase it because 92 is an incredibly high stat. The only way that I could increase it is if he was literally running past people that are like miles in front of him but 92 pace leaving that as it is. Shooting needs to be increased though. 100% the shooting is going to be increased. I'd increase it to about an 85, which already means that this card has 92 pace and 85 shooting, how it felt to me in game, which is just insane. So, yeah, 85 shooting, just absolutely phenomenal. And then the passing at 72, I'm going to increase that as well because I did actually notice uh, that he made some good passes. So, I'm going to increase that to about a 75. It is the short pass that's bringing it up, and that's the one that I noticed the most anyway. So, I'm going to bring the passing up to a 75. 84 dribbling feels about right. It could probably be increased, to be honest. 85, 86. He's dribbling. He did feel like he was able to beat players. You saw in clips there, people weren't even able to get near him. That's a combination of his pace and his dribbling. And it's just absolutely phenomenal. One of the best dribblers that I've used in the game. Defending, I'm not going to touch because, you know, like he's a striker, he's a forward player, so we don't need to. And I don't didn't actually try any headers. Physical, I'll probably leave the same. Strength maybe could be increased slightly, but that comes under the dribbling for me anyway. Um, but yeah, the strength, he did feel a bit stronger than what the card suggests. And people just couldn't get near him. So 75k for Timo Werner. Is he worth the coins? 75k is a fair chunk at this point in the game. He's a left winger, not a striker. He's 100% worth it. You knew I was going to say that already from the uh, from the gameplay review. He has to be worth it. Put him as a striker, and he is one of the best strikers on the game at the moment. He is a monster. As cold, you need to get yourself a Werner and play him as a striker. So hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. There is a link in the description down below full of FIFA 23 player reviews. And as always guys, thank you for watching. Bye.